This is extra practice. We're going to put time in order. The hands of an analog clock go around in the same direction. They go clockwise. We can look at the hour hands and the minute hands to put given times in order. If they show the same hour, we look at where the minute hand is pointing. That'll help us. On a digital clock, we put the numbers in order of lowest number to greatest number, and we put AM before PM. So let's take a look at these. It says to write the time for each clock, put in order from earliest to latest, write the number in order in the box as 1, 2, 3, or 4. So let's first write the times, okay? What time does this clock say? We look at the hour hand. It's pointing in between the 2 and the 3, isn't it? So it's not 3 o'clock yet, so it's still 2. We look at where the minute hand is pointing, and some of you might remember what the 9 is for minutes, but we can count by 5 starting here. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. So this time is 245. Let's look at this one. This is an easy one. Remember when the large hand is pointing to the 12, it's o'clock, and then the hour hand tells us which o'clock. So this would be 1 o'clock, wouldn't it? Okay. Now let's look at this one. This one should be easy also. Can you tell what time this one is? We've got the minute hand pointing to the 12, so it's o'clock. It's 2 o'clock. Let's look at this one. We look at the hour hand first. We see it's pointing in between the 1 and the 2, so it's not at 2 yet, so it's still 1. And it's pointing at the 6. And I bet some of you know what this is. But we can count by 5s if we don't. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. That's 130. Now that we wrote the times, we can write them in order, 1, 2, 3, 4, in these little boxes. So which time would be first? We've got 2.45, 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, and 1.30. Do you know which one would be first? Well, if you said 1 o'clock, you're right. That's the first one. Do you know what the second one would be? Would we go to 2 o'clock and then 1.30? No. We stay with the same hour, and we go with the 1.30. So that would be number 2. After 1.30, we can go to the 2 o'clock ones. Which comes first, 2 o'clock or 2.45? If you said 2 o'clock, you're right. That would be number 3. So that means that this one would have to be number 4, wouldn't it? It's the only one left. And now we've put them in order from the earliest time to the latest time. Let's try it again. We'll try it with these. Let's write the times. Let's look at this one. The hour hand is pointing to the 4, so we know the hours are 4. And what are the minutes? We've got 5, 10, 15. This one is 4, 15. How about this one? The hour hand is pointing at the 4, and the minute hand is pointing at the 12, which means it's o'clock, doesn't it? How about this one? Where's the hour hand pointing? It's in between the 5 and the 6, so it hasn't gotten to 6 yet, so it's still 5. And the minute hand is pointing to the 6, that's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, so that's 5.30. How about this one? The hour hand is pointing to the 5, and the minute hand is pointing to the 12, and remember that means it's o'clock. So now we can look at the different times and put them in order 1, 2, 3, 4. So which one comes first? What is the smallest, least, lowest, earliest number? If you said 4 o'clock, you're right. That would be number 1. And we have another one over here with a 4 for the hour. So that one should be the next one. Because we shouldn't go to 5 yet if there's still a 4 here. So 4.15 would be number 2. 
Now we have to figure out which number three and what, what is number four. We have a 5.30 and a 5 o'clock. Do you know which one comes first? Which one comes first? If you said 5 o'clock, you're right. 5 o'clock comes before 5.30, so that's number three. So 5.30 would have to be number four, wouldn't it? It's the only one left. All right. Let's see if we could do this with a digital clock. So now we just have the times. Do you know which one is first? We need to put one, two, three. We have 8.30, 8.15, and 8 o'clock. Do you know which one comes first? If you said 8 o'clock, you're right. That's 8 hours and no minutes. Do you know which one comes second? Which minutes would come next? If you said 8.15, you're right. 8.15 comes before 8.30. So that would be the third one because it's the only one left. Let's try it again. We've got 9.15, 10.45, and 10.30. So we look at the hours. And this one has the lowest hours, so this one is first. It's got a 9. Now we've got 10 in the hours place. Which one is number 2? What comes first, a 30 or a 45? If you said 1030, you're right. That is number two. And that means that has to be number three because it's the only one left. Okay? Now, I want you to remember that there's 24 hours in each day. The hour hand goes around the clock face twice. It goes around the face of a clock two times. The first time is 12 hours in the a.m. Remember, that's morning. And then it goes around again 12 hours in the p.m. And 12 hours plus 12 hours is 24 hours. That's 24 hours in each day. So we have to remember that there's an a.m. and a p.m. And that could cause us problems when we're trying to figure out what time came first. We have to look at the a.m. and the p.m. All right, so I made one of these in the previous video, one of the previous videos. I made a long number line, and this is the 24 hours of a day, okay? We started at midnight at 12 o'clock. That's a.m., and then here's noon. Here's lunchtime. It's at 12 o'clock again. That's when it becomes p.m. for the afternoon and evening, see? Then it goes back to midnight, and we start all over again with a.m. So it's either a.m. or p.m. So if somebody said, I'll meet you at 8 o'clock on Thursday, you could say, well, a.m. or p.m. Because you don't know if they mean 8 o'clock in the morning or 8 o'clock at night. And if they said, oh, I'm sorry, 8 a.m., you'd say, oh, okay, 8 o'clock in the morning. You could show up at the wrong time at the wrong 8 o'clock. All right? So... We can put them in order from morning to night, knowing that a.m. is morning and p.m. is evening, okay? So we have 8.30 a.m., 2 o'clock p.m., and 10 o'clock a.m. So which time would come first? We need to put them in 1, 2, 3. So remember, the a.m. is the morning, the p.m. is the evening. So we have 8.30 a.m. Where would 8.30 a.m. be? Well, it would be over here in the a.m. And here's 8 o'clock and here's 9 o'clock. So 8.30 would be right in between here, wouldn't it? It would be in between 8 o'clock and 9 o'clock for 8.30. All right. Now we've got 2 o'clock p.m. Well, p.m. is over here. Here's 2 o'clock p.m. right here. See? And then the last one was 10 o'clock a.m. Well, we know a.m. is over here. Here's 10 o'clock a.m. right here. So if we wanted to put them in order from morning to night, the first one would be 8.30, then 10, then 2, wouldn't it? So it would be 8.30 would be the first one, 10 a.m. would be the second one, and then 2 p.m. would be the third one. 
See how the number line helped us? All right. So it helped us see what order they were in. Okay. So let's do the next one. Let me erase these and we'll do the next one. Okay. Now we've got 6 p.m. Let's find 6 p.m. Here's the p.m. So 6 p.m. would be right here. Okay. That's 6 o'clock p.m. Then we have 2.30 p.m. We know that 2.30 would be in between 2 o'clock and 3 o'clock. That's right here. Right in between the 2 o'clock and 3 o'clock. It would be right there, wouldn't it, in the p.m. And then the last time says 11 o'clock a.m. Well, a.m. is over here. It's in the morning. And 11 o'clock a.m. would be right here. See? 11 o'clock a.m. So which one is first, starting with the morning? Well, it would be the 11 o'clock a.m., wouldn't it? So that would be our first one. And then what would be number two? We've got 6 o'clock p.m. and 2.30 p.m. Well, the next one would be the 2.30, the one that's in between the 2 o'clock and 3 o'clock. That would be number two. The number line is going to help us, isn't it? So we know that this one is the third one. It's the only one left, and it is the last one. All right? Let's try it one last time. I'm going to erase these. You like my eraser? I got 10 of them. All right. So we've got a 9.15 a.m., we've got a 9 o'clock p.m., and we've got a 9 o'clock a.m. So which one comes first? Well, 9.15 a.m. is just a little bit past 9, 9 a.m., isn't it? So a.m. is over here. Here's 9 o'clock a.m. So it's not 9 o'clock a.m., it's 9.15, so it's a little bit past 9 o'clock, isn't it? It's 15 minutes past, all right? Then we've got 9 o'clock p.m. Well, p.m.'s over here. Here's 9 o'clock p.m., it's way over here. Then we've got 9 o'clock a.m., and 9 o'clock a.m. is way over here. See? So do you see which is the first one? It would be the 9 o'clock a.m., wouldn't it? That would be number one. And what would be the second one? 9.15 a.m. See? Because a.m. comes before p.m. So this would be number two. And this 9 o'clock p.m., now that's bedtime. That's late at night, isn't it? So that's the third one. It's the only one left. And now we've put them in order, okay? So if you need to put time in order and you are working with a.m. and p.m., some of you won't work with it until third grade. But if you are working with a.m. and p.m., make yourself a number line and put a little pencil mark or your finger or maybe, you know, a little piece of paper or a shape or a penny or something to mark your time spots so that you can compare where they are, okay? You could even write the time or put a one, two, three or whatever, okay? To help you put them in order. But the number line will really help you. You can even make the number line going up and down this way to help you, okay? All right, it could go vertically. So that's putting time in order from earliest to latest, and that's doing it with a.m. and p.m., okay? So just remember, a.m. is morning, p.m. is evening, all right? I'll see you next video. We're going to talk about Roman numerals, and then we'll be done with talking about time, all right? Bye.